Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we are doing a small bit of a different video but also a very similar video. So, I'm doing an unhaul vlog because basically to keep me accountable. So a couple of months back I did an unhaul and then I proceeded not to unhaul any of those books. I just, first I had them in a bag and then slowly they made their way back onto my shelves hidden in the back. So this time it's happening for real <laughs> and I am vlogging me getting rid of them as evidence. So I already vlogged me going through my shelves so I will put that in now and then I'll talk you through my thought process. All right well the Schwab is all staying. They're four stars, five stars, four and five stars so they're all good as well. Robin Hobb is also obviously staying. Maybe that's day. I'll keep that for now, but I feel like it's gonna go in the future. These are all good. Mm, I really hated this. Mm, we'll put these in the maybe for now. That's definitely. Maybe that can go in the definitely pile. Those are all good. That one can go. Yeah. These are kind of me. Those are also me. staying for now but I'll see whether I like the last book because if I don't like the last book those are going then mm, I don't know I'll keep it for now I know that's fine so I kind of ended up having like two piles I had a maybe and a definitely so I put a couple back from the maybe pile just because I didn't have room to bring them with me really. So I ended up putting back the Scythe trilogy, the rest of us just live here, the bone chips, oh there's something else. Oh also the renegades, did I say that? <laughs> so uh, so I put back the bone chips because I was like well I'll finish the series first before I do anything about that. Same with Call Down the Hawk and Mr. Impossible, I'm waiting for the third book to come out before I make any decisions on that. Uh, the rest of us just live here. I'm kind of seeing, gonna try a couple more Patrick Ness and like if I like them more than that I'll probably keep it just to have a bit of a collection going because I already have the Chaos Walking trilogy which I really love and I'm not getting rid of so I'll see how I feel about his other books and I put back Renegades and Scythe because I did enjoy them. I'm not sure will I ever reread them though and Renegades was actually a five star book for me and I think that's why I put it back because it was five stars at the time but then the final book in that series was like I absolutely despised like the way they ended it was so stupid and so it's kind of soured my feelings towards the whole trilogy but I'm, I'm I'll see about that basically and so I laid them all out and then I actually sent a picture of them to my cousin who is also a big reader and so um she is taking a load of them off my hands and then the rest of them I'm gonna bring to a secondhand bookstore. So the first one that I'm giving to my cousin is the Nevernight Trilogy by Jay Kristoff, which at one point I asked her did she want them and she said no, she had no interest in reading from him and obviously that has changed. <laughs> um, but so that is Nevernight, God's Grave and Dark Dawn. So I said that I was unhauling these in that other unhaul video, um, basically because I didn't like the series. 2.5, a 2, and a 3. I just, I do not care for his writing. I did not like the way Mia was overly sexualized and she's like 16 and it's it's weird it's weird okay and obviously a lot more problematic stuff has come out about him so I'm perfectly fine getting rid of them and um my cousin is gonna give them a go and at least she's getting them for free so she doesn't have to pay for them so then the next series is also one that I said I was gonna get rid of in that other video and that is the Te Throne of Glass series by Sarah Jane Ass. Um, which is completely out of order, forgive me. 
So she has actually already read these and she loves them. She loves Sarah J Maas. Uh, me not so much. This was another one that I said that I was going to get rid of and then never did. Um, because I have, I mean, this one I was like really unsure whether I want to get rid of them because sometimes the urge comes upon me to reread them. I never have acted on that urge though. Um, because I really enjoyed the first two. So the first two were four stars. The third one was a three. Then these were both one star. That was a three and that was a two, I think. So it was up and down with this series. And I have also read Crescent City and I gave that a two, I think. It's more of a, I think it's a 2.5. I just feel very neutral on Sarah J Maas. I like some stuff, I don't like others. Um, but she has already read these. She loves them, she already owns them, but her friend, has also read them and loved them but doesn't own them so she's gonna give them to her friend going to a good home <laughs> someone who will appreciate them more than me these were on the maybe pile but then she said she would take them so i was like okay they're going in the definitely pile and they were on the maybe pile because they're so beautiful the spines on the shelves and that is the grishaverse trilogy um so i kept and also um king of scars and real wolves i'll link my ranking the Grishaverse video because that basically tells you my, opi my opinions on this. They're basically all three stars, very neutral. They are beautiful though, <laughs> um, but I am keeping Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom because they're both five stars, but they're also ones that I'm like, if I read them now, I don't think I would like them, but <laughs> they still hold a special place in my heart. They're staying for a while. So I'm also giving them to her, <laughs> which I think she's read Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom, but I don't think she's read the rest of the Grishaverse. The final series that I'm giving to her is the Red Queen series by Victoria Aviar. And again, this is another one actually that I have pretty positive thoughts at, of at first, or at least the early books. So like, this is a four. I think all of the first three are fours. And then the final book I think was a three, but it was like a low three. And then like the short story collection, I read like way after the fact that I read the first ones. And so when I read this, I realized like this kind of world and stuff is really not for me anymore i gave this two stars i really didn't like it um and so i was like okay i'm definitely also never gonna reread these but yeah also getting rid of those so i don't know how many of the books that is so that's the 21 books i'm giving to my cousin and um she has repaid me by buying me an easter egg i feel like that's a fair trade They are in her room. They are gone. They are no longer mine. So that is the first step done. I'm proud of myself. This is very good for me. I'm unhauling stuff. This is new. Now comes the harder part because that was just giving it to my husband. Um, the next part involves me going into a secondhand bookstore and actually like giving them away and like talking to people, which is a lot harder. A good few of these are ones that were on the list back then, but there's a couple of newer ones. So a new one on the list is The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. Oh, I should also go back and check all of them for bookmarks because I'm pretty sure a lot of them have bookmarks in them. I think I gave it three stars in the end, but it's actually probably a two star. I really didn't like this. <laughs> so I don't know why I gave it three stars. It's definitely a two. I guess I was just feeling nice when I read it. I can't remember a single thing about it. But yeah, so this is a newer one onto the list. Then I'm also going to get rid of Invisible Women. And this one... I didn't rate because it's a non-fiction but like I'm never gonna reread this and I feel bad because it was expensive like this cost me a lot <laughs> and I didn't even find it that interesting like some of the stats were interesting but I feel like it wasn't the best written so yeah it was probably like a three-ish stars but that's again that's one that I read last year that I'm getting rid of so then we have The Astonishing Colour of After by Emily X. R. Pan, and I think this is on the old list. I don't read a lot of way contemporary and I, I'm never going to reread this. I'm never going to touch it again. I'm never going to think about it again. I honestly forgot that I own this. So that's probably a point where you should get rid of it. <laughs> Another new one onto the list, which I'm actually not sure will they take, but it's Unfiltered by Lily Collins. It's her like memoir, which I read about, I would say maybe like six, seven years ago. I read it when it came out. I don't know when it came out. 2017. I read it in 2017. I'm never going to reread this. It was interesting enough, but as I said, I'm, I, 
don't even touch this is literally hidden in the back of my shelves so I'm not even sure will they actually take this because it's a hardback and I think they only want hardbacks from like the past two years so uh, I might have to find somewhere else to get rid of this but it's fine we'll be fine <laughs> so then back to the original list uh three dark crown series by Kendara Blake I gave this I think three four three two um went downhill <laughs> And it should, it was originally supposed to be a duology, should have been kept that way. I hated the end of this series again, and that's the one that like ruined the whole series. But even then, I wasn't really enjoying it that much uh, before that, so I'm okay with getting rid of this. So then we have the Maze Runner series by James Dashner, again another one off the original list um, that I said I would get rid of, but now I'm lying to you all. Um, again, another series that I just didn't like. I re I actually really liked the first one. I think I gave it four stars. And then I think the rest were like three and two stars. So yeah, two more off the original list. Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda and Leon off and Leah on the Offbeat by Becky Albertalli. No, both my contemporaries that I just don't think about, don't care about. Um, Simon vs. I did enjoy at the time. Don't think I would enjoy it reading it now. This book I hate with a burning passion. It could be quite hurtful to someone who is trying to figure out their sexuality because there is certain lines in here where a character is like oh you either are your sexuality or you aren't and it doesn't leave any room for like questioning and i yeah and the, it's not even really questioned in the book and i remember reading it and hating that about it so much so also the main character thinks that like her being mean uh is fine because she's a slytherin i'm like nope <laughs> and then Small Favors, again, this is a new one. Um, this is one of my most anticipated releases of last year. I give it two stars. I want it out of my life because I'm mad. I found it so freaking boring. So I'm getting rid of it. Um, I kept House of Salt and Sorrow because I did give it five stars. And I kind of want to reread it to see if I, my opinions would change a bit. But also I want to leave it the way it is in my memory. And then lastly, we have Carry On and Wayward Son by Rainbow Rowell. So I... Again, I'm not sure where they take this because it's a hardback, um, but I'll give it a go. And I said in the last unhaul that I wasn't sure about these and I was, might read the third book and then see how that felt. I read the third book, I gave it three stars, it was okay. So this was like a 4.5, I think. This is a two, the third one was a three. I'm not gonna buy the third one. No point having an incomplete and unmatching set. So yeah, so those are the books that I actually have to still get rid of. And how many is there there? 18 another 18 so that brings us up to like 39 39 books which is pretty good um but these 18 i'm probably i'll split them into probably two because i don't think i can carry all of them with me in my bag so um i might split in i'll split in half some way okay so that's 10 and then get rid of the other eight the next day um so yeah i'm gonna put these in my bag tomorrow monday i'm gonna go get rid of these ones and then tuesday i'm staying here uh so then wednesday i'll get rid of the other ones so that sounds good <laughs> okay so it's monday so please ignore that so Two, I still have two of the books because they didn't take them because there's two, they have too many of them and that's Simon Versus and Beyond the Offbeat but I'll try and see if there's maybe a charity shop or something that'll take them uh, a tenner for the other six I think so it's not too bad um, and as I said I still have another pile to get rid of so we'll see about them So I got rid of almost all of the books. So obviously I gave some to my cousin and then I gave, so then I brought the rest to the second hand books, like maybe a euro for a book, which is not too bad. Um, there was some that they wouldn't take. Those are Seven Verses, Leon Offbeat, Wayward Son, and Unfiltered. They don't take card backs unless they're like, released in the last two years and they just had like a million copies of these so got rid of like i think what probably 35 books i think between selling and giving them 
so like that's not too bad i'm i've never unhauled stuff i am a bit of a book hoarder so i'm very proud of myself <laughs> and yeah and as i said i needed to be held accountable so so that brings us to the end of this video so i have unhauled a whole load of books i have reorganized my shelves they're looking really nice right now and yeah that is all so thank you guys so much for watching i do hope you enjoyed if you did subscribe and i will see you all in the next one bye